good afternoon all. My name is Larry the lecturer for Engineering Science N4. I quickly want to show you area that one of the areas you can concentrate on for your final exams. Uh, module 4, the topic is statics. And um, concept, of course, in statics, we have just uh, two major topics there, the beams and, of course, centroid. Okay, the beams can give you more marks. And in all questions that will be asked in your final exam, I strongly believe beams can give you more marks than any other uh, topics in the book. Okay, let's quickly look at this. This is your sketch about a beam. I'll look at possible four questions they can ask from this beam. Question one is asking about calculation for your two supports here, B and of course H, which will give you six marks. To prove your answer, one mark. To calculate the bending moment about Point B, C, D, E, F, and G can also fetch you six marks. And for you to draw uh, shear force and your bending moment diagram, and also show the maximum point, whether at the bending moment or the shear force, if we make it like two, and then that will give you seven marks. We have 20 marks in total. So you can imagine only just from one topic, you score 20 marks. So let's quickly go on and start with number one. Number one, they are asking us to calculate for the two supports. We have B and we have H. So we say we want to take moments about Support B. And we say the sum of anti clockwise moments will be equal to the sum of clockwise moments. So let's check. Our 16 Newton will go anti, 80 will be clockwise. Before we go ahead, we have a UDL of four kilograms. The first thing I will advise you to do here, turn this to a point load. It will say four multiplied by 9.8. That will give us uh, 39.2. Thirty nine point two, and we have over six meters. All right, so this will be thirty nine point two Newton. We have to convert the mass to weight. Okay, then our thirty nine point two will also be clockwise. Our 100 Newton will also be clockwise. Our 75 will also be clockwise. And our H, support H, will be anti-clockwise. So we have two anti-clockwise moments. Therefore, we say 60 multiplied by 2B. We have two. All right. Plus, we have H multiplied by from H to B, which I'll have 2 plus 4, 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 4 will be 16. And then for the clockwise moment, 1, 2, 3, 4. And of course, this one also. This is per meter, this is per meter. So we can we, we are going to say 10 multiplied by 2. This will become 20 Newton here. 
uh, we said 39.2 multiplied by 6 will give us 235 235.2 newton okay and then we go ahead for the clockwise we have 80 multiplied by 4 plus 235 comma 2 multiplied by from here to here is 3 because it's acting at the center 3 plus 4 will be 7 plus another clockwise 100 multiply by this is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 75 multiplied by 4 10 14 and lastly we have our 20 acting at the center there 20 multiplied by from here to here will be 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 4 will give us 15 therefore we shall have 120 plus 16 h will be equals to 80 multiplied by 4 plus 235.2 by 7 plus 100 by 10 plus 75 by 14 plus 20 by 15 shall give us 4316,4. All right. 4316,4 minus 120 will be equals to 16H. And H will be equals to 4316,4 minus 120 will give us 4196,4 all divided by 16. And our H will be. 262, 275 Newton. So, I always advise that we put the value here. 262, 275 Newton. Alright. So, we have done our moment for B. So let's go ahead and do moment for H now. Moment for H. We still say the sum of anti-clockwise moment equals the sum of clockwise moment. So we revolve all this off. Okay, and then we say this is where we are concentrating on the 20 part will be anti, the 75 will be anti, the 100 will be anti, the 235 will be anti, 80 will be anti, 60 will be anti. It's only B that is going to be clockwise. So we start for anti clockwise 20 multiplied by. The distance from here to this point will be 1 plus 75 by 2 plus 100 by 6 plus 2, 3, 5.2 multiplied by from here to here is 3 plus 4 is 7 to there is 9 plus 80 multiplied by 6, 10, 12 plus 60 multiplied by 2, 4, 6, 12 12 plus 4, 16 and this will be 18 will be equals to B 
multiplied by 16. So if we had all that together, we shall have uh, 4926, 4926.8 will be equals to 16b. So 4926.8 all divided by 16 will give us b. And b will be equals to 307.925 Newton. So I also suggest that we write the value of B here, or the value for B, 307.925 Newton. Okay. And then we clean all this. So now let's check the second, we've done the first question. The second question, prove your answer. To prove, we say the sum of upward forces equals the sum of downward forces. For our upward forces, we have 262.275 plus 307.925 will be equals to downward forces we have 60 plus 80 plus 235.2 plus 100 plus 75 and of course plus 20. 20. So if we check how much do we have here, we shall have 570.2 Newton will be equals to 570.2. Newton. So that is our proof for one mark. And then we can go to question number three now. They say we should calculate the bending moments about point B, C, D, E, F, and uh, E, F, G. E, F, and G. Okay. So we will start. The bending 